today it's a really really beautiful day it's summertime in the Netherlands and many of my roses have come out in the garden city garden um, I have spread the world out that I'm related to Michael Jackson and I'm related to Diana Ross the media have been extremely quiet because I think they are shocked um, about everything. I have been exhausted, really exhausted. I don't know if you can see it. I've been really exhausted, really working very hard. <laughs> I don't look pretty at all this moment, but I wanted to record. And someone asked, sent me a videotape about where my father, Michael Jackson, was talking about the severe abuse that he went through by Joe Jackson, my grandfather, and um, and and all the family members. To hear my father speak about his suffering, um, I was so proud that he speak out, that he lived um, left out this legacy about in his own words what happened to him. And I think it's so important for people to tell about abuse. This is why I also, I also talk about what I experienced my abuse in my relationship and with the government. I think it's so important to be, um, to educate people with your life story. I couldn't sleep. I went into having severe nightmares after hearing Michael Jackson talking about how severe he was abused. I went to really, really nightmares, really nightmares. And um, the press not writing about that my DNA reveals that I am a Jackson and Ross. I quite appreciate it. I really quite appreciate it because it gives me a piece of rest in my mind. So maybe this time they do on they doing the homework. I don't know all the answers. I really don't know. I am in this journey where I'm really fighting about what happened to me as child child traffic victim, and I think it's really horrible to call myself a victim because as a victim I feel very vulnerable and I don't know where I'm standing. And I I know because it's around Michael Jackson, then a lot of Michael Jackson fans cannot deal with it. They can deal with what Michael Jackson told them about his abuse. But I, I really understand that many people in the world cannot believe that um, Michael Jackson could have been lemon. And I was conceived out of that lemon and um, and I dare to say it because it's about me. I dare to say it because I don't have a mother. I have a woman who gave birth to me, but she doesn't consider herself my mother. She even publicly, Barbara Jane Ross, uh, destroyed me online, publicly. So you really start to think, what happened? What happened? So I really feel that my father was lament when he was 16 years old by this woman. She didn't want to have this child. So she dumped me with my grandmother, Catherine Jackson. I wasn't happy at all to have it. And then Joe Jackson beat the crap out of my father and then made this sneaky plan never to reveal me to the world. This is what I, that's the reality that my DNA is showing me. And I can imagine that many people don't believe my story. But it's okay, because I'm learning to deal with my story. And I could tell you it's really hard. I'm really going through hell. But it's okay, because everyone live a story. Everyone go through this, and it's my story. So today, I really want the world to know that um, I have spread the world out. Thank you for your silence, for your reaction. I hope my story will really um, motivate people to read my book, Trilla Betrayal and Trilla the Dark Side Netherlands, because I'm real. I'm real, I'm real. 
and I am going through hell and I'm still going through hell. But I'm going to stay brave because there are so many women in the world who show me how to be brave. So many people in the world show me how to be brave. So um, to my fans, I want to say thank you so much. And um, I thought it was time that I speak up, say something. I'm not going to be in social media a lot, as I said before. And um, for now, I want to say thank you for all your support. To the haters, thank you also. Because you make me focus. And you make me see how vulnerable I am. 